What's up, family? As we just received the final COLA increase information last week, we have some new trouble in the pipeline. This is going to affect our seniors and our Social Security recipients. The latest 2024 COLA increase is expected to trigger some higher taxes. Take a look at this article right here that tells us that your taxes could be impacted in a major way. Also, we have information regarding millions of Social Security recipients that may owe thousands of dollars back to Social Security. I've got the details to share with you in just a moment, but before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, guys, we already talked about it earlier last week where Social Security recipients finally received the official data in regards to the COLA increase, which in fact, for the next year of 2024, recipients are going to receive a 3.2% bump in their Social Security monthly checks. And yes, guys, just so that you know that this particular bump or this 3.2% increase is going to be around an average of around $59 per month for every recipient. But anyways, guys, because of that information that just rolled out and this new increase is about to happen, we have some definitely bad news in regards to our recipients as well as our seniors. Take a look at this right here, guys, where it says that uh, because of the Social Security COLA increase for 2024, it may actually impact your taxes in a big way. Uh, yes, guys, advocates are calling for uh, calculating Social Security COLA on the new senior CPI data. Well, anyways, guys, Social Security and SSI benefits from more than 71 million Americans will increase by 3.2% in 2024, which may push some beneficiaries into a higher tax bracket, according to the Senior Citizens League. Uh, yes, guys, the cost of living adjustment, or better known as E. coli increase, aligns with early estimates that were based on the inflation figures for the previous three months, which was July, August, and September. Uh, beneficiaries will see an extra $59 monthly starting in January. And these increased payments to approximately 7.5 million SSI recipients will begin on December the 29th of this year. Uh, but anyways, guys, the increase in 2024 will help millions of people uh, keep up with their expenses, according to the acting commissioner of the Social Security Administration Office. And the adjustment is lower than the previous years because uh, moderating inflation, recipients receive increases of 8.7% for 2023 and 5.9% for 2022, which were the largest since the early 19. 80s because of the record high inflation that we are dealing with right now. And as of many, as 26% of the survey participants who have received Social Security for more than three years report that uh, paying taxes on a portion of their benefits for the first time during the 2023 tax season. Uh, yes, guys, we are talking about these huge increases that have pretty much happened over the last three years or so for our Social Security recipients. It's going to play a major role in regards to when it's time to file your taxes. Uh, yes, guys, your tax return is going to show that you have received more money than you have been at any time over the past three to five years or so. And that means that uh, you are going to be responsible to pay more in taxes back to the IRS. Uh, yes, guys, this is very startling because we all know that uh, the increase that is provided to our Social Security recipients is still not enough money. And now to find out that they are going to have to pay more money in regards to taxes, this is going to hurt millions of people. And as it said right here, guys, seven and a half million people are in regards to receiving SSI payments, which are going to increase substantially because of this 3.2% COLA increase. Uh, but anyways, guys, up to 85% of Social Security benefits can be taxable when income exceeds certain thresholds. And unlike other parts of the federal income tax code, the income thresholds that are subject to Social Security benefits to taxation have never been adjusted for inflation. Consequently, as Social Security income Income increases due to COLA, uh, that can bump more retirees into the thresholds that actually will trigger the tax on their Social Security benefits. Uh, so anyways, guys, you definitely need to be mindful of this. You definitely need to start preparing for this because as you probably seen in 2022, when you filed that tax return, 
probably going to happen the same way for 2023, but much larger. As he said right here, guys, for 2022, uh, you are filing your tax return in reference to a 5.9% increase. But when you go and file your 2023 tax return, which is sometime at the beginning of next year, uh, you are going to be reporting on an 8.7% increase, which like we've said, guys, this is the largest increase that we have seen in over the last 40 years. So uh, anyways, guys, you definitely need to be mindful of this. You definitely need to start preparing for this. Try to save up some of your money. I know it is definitely hard for recipients to do that, considering that uh, things have just gone up so much right now and you are already doing without. Uh, so anyways, guys, I definitely want to bring that information to you uh, just so that you are aware of this when it comes time to file your taxes. And depending on your situation, you may actually want to prolong filing your taxes taxes as well. But I am not a tax advisor. I am just thinking outside of my uh, small brain. But uh, anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring that information to you. And then also in regards to bad news. Uh, yes, guys, we just found out that Social Security has been overpaying billions of dollars to beneficiaries on Social Security. And now they have the audacity to ask for that money back. Uh, yes, guys, as you can see, it says that they are demanding that that money be paid back. Uh, yes, guys, as an example, Justina, which is 47 years old, works part time at a kitchen as a helper in the Ohio nursing home. She has cerebral palsy, uh, intellectual disability and a cardiac condition that required that she get an artificial heart valve at the age of 20. And just a year ago, guys, she was earning around eight hundred and sixty two dollars per month and receiving about one thousand and sixty five dollars in monthly Social Security disability benefits when in a a letter that arrived from the federal government earlier this year the Social Security Administration had been overpaying her money according to the letter uh, but anyways guys they said that look we want our money back we made an accident we made a huge problem we have been giving you more money than you should have been receiving and now within the next 30 days or so we are expecting you to pay that money back to us. Uh, yes, guys, as you can see, I am not telling a story. It says right here that within 30 days, it said in the letter that she should mail the government a check or a money order for the amount of $60,175.90. Uh, yes, guys, this is crazy. What do you think about this, guys? Uh, but anyways, guys, it says that Social Security should be to help people, not to destroy them, according to her aunt. But anyways, guys, the Social Security Administration office is trying to reclaim billions of dollars uh, from many of the nation's poorest and most vulnerable Americans and payments it sent to them, but now says that they never should have been sent out and now they are wanting that money back. One consequence is a costly collection of effort for the government and a potentially devastating ordeal for the beneficiary. And in a statement from the Century Foundation, a senior fellow, uh, they said that, look, we have an overpayment crisis on our hands and we have got to do something about it. Overpayments push already struggling beneficiaries even deeper into poverty and hardship, which is directly counterproductive to the goals that we have set forth at hand. And the Social Security Administration has declined on an interview request in regards to this particular matter. But uh, anyways, guys, this is crazy, guys. What are we going to do? I mean, they are already suffering as it is, and now you want this particular young lady to pay back $60,000? Do you think that she was able to save money, save up $60,000 when you were only giving them just a little bit over $1,000 per month? How could that be so? Uh, but anyways, guys, this is just a tragedy uh, right now for our beneficiaries, our Social Security recipients, our seniors. Uh, guys, they are just not doing well and they continue to not receive any type of effort from the federal government, let alone the Social Security Administration office, which they have made a huge mistake in regards to sending money on accident and then waiting years later and now you want the money back? That is just insane, guys. But anyways, I want to know what you think about this, guys. Comment down below in the comment section. I would love to get your take on this. I know, I know you're definitely going to be upset, but I want to feel your pain because I want you to feel my pain as well, guys. 
This is a tragedy and we have got to do something about it. Social Security Administration Office, yes, they did make a mistake. However, they need to go ahead and just chalk it up to the game. Come on now, go ahead and just waive all of those billions of dollars and just forget about it and let's just move forward. But anyways, guys, I wanna get your take on this. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this, guys. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today and I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today, but feel free free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money, such as signing up with Webull, where they are giving away 12 free stocks that could be worth $3,000. Also, don't forget about signing up for the Amazon Prime membership for free for 30 days, as well as sign up with Rakuten so that you can use it during the holiday shopping, where they are going to give you cash back on your purchases. And right now, if you sign up and use it for the first time, they're going to give you an additional $30. So like I said, there are a few ways for you to earn some free money. Check out the links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.